everyone welcome to this update video i really hope you're doing great this morning let's go ahead and take a look at what is happening across the atlantic basin so there is that front which extends into the caribbean and uh, behind it is a mass of cool air which is setting in to parts of the region so we will be talking about that also as we look out you can see some activity uh, in the vicinity of the intertropical convergence zone and also offshore europe and northwest africa let's zoom into the caribbean and we're not seeing any major convection it's not looking too colorful right now so mostly these low level clouds moving by but there is going to be that chance of heavy rain across some areas today and we're seeing that cloud cluster as well over in parts of the lesser antilles so there are some showers moving through for example in parts of martinique even for saint lucia so that's been the story there and as we look at the rainfall forecast for today, here we're seeing that some areas are pretty colorful, and especially over in Central America. So going towards northern Honduras and in the vicinity of the Bay Islands, we're seeing some of those burgundy and even those red shadings as well, and those oranges. Similar story for the Caribbean coast of Nicaragua as we are seeing. So again, the front is in the area and there could be some periods of heavy rainfall as we head through today but things are pretty much clearing up for belize and uh, parts of mexico and guatemala as well and even the cayman islands cuba and much of the bahamas and turks and caicos islands in florida as we see it so much is not expected looking towards jamaica though especially over in the east you is showing that eastern parishes will have a decent chance of experiencing some substantial rainfall today and again that massive cooler air is setting in so temperatures may be a couple degrees celsius cooler than what is typical across different parts of the island especially within those areas that actually experience those overcast conditions or uh, some rainfall going towards hispaniola it is a similar story we're seeing those colorful shadings and even for some spots in puerto rico virgin island should be in the clear for much of today likewise the abc islands and then over in the Lesser Antilles, there are some showers moving by different areas. Going to Northern South America, there may be some substantial rainfall across the Guyana. So Guyana, Suriname, French Guiana, there could be some substantial rainfall, similar story for Southern Venezuela and over in parts of Colombia. And with those periods of heavy rain, flooding may be unleashed across uh, those more vulnerable areas. Looking at the wind forecast for later today, here we're seeing it. And we're seeing some of these purple and blue shadings popping up in parts of the Western Caribbean in the wake of the frontal system. So these winds coming from the north could be over 20 knots. So that would be up to around 23, 24, even over 25 miles per hour with higher gusts in the Western Caribbean. So offshore Central America, as well as within the vicinity of the Cayman Islands, even for parts of Jamaica as well, the West Coast make it a little bit windy today. And near uh, Haiti and Cuba, going towards the Southern Bahamas, Turks and Caicos Islands, and looking further out into the open Atlantic, Atlantic, we're seeing that the winds are even stronger out there as well but uh, for parts of the northeastern caribbean puerto rico the virgin islands even parts of the leeward islands as well winds are not expected to be st uh, very strong as we head through today definitely nothing compared to last week because it was so windy right through the week down to the abc islands though there could be some of those winds up to around 20 knots or so as we head through today but overall nothing too crazy and with that the wave heights aren't going to be too crazy either so seas likely to be uh, pretty much around one going up to five feet across the caribbean but uh, we're seeing some of those green spots of those higher uh, wave heights so up to around six or seven feet now as it relates to that cool down let's look at the forecast from both gfs and duro this is GFS as we head into the well this morning and we're seeing those blue shadings which indicate below average temperature. So again, cooler conditions setting in for parts of Central America, including Mexico, Belize, even for Guatemala as well, and also for Cuba, the Cayman Islands, even parts of Jamaica. Uh, going up towards the Bahamas, Turks and Caicos Islands. And as we head into later this evening, that's likely to be spreading across other parts of the Northern Caribbean. Looking at the 
forecast for Thursday, we're seeing that GFS is expecting that the massive cooler air will be pretty much loitering around the same areas within the Northern Caribbean and even into the weekend. Now, Euro is in agreement with this. This is for later today, around this afternoon, and we're seeing those darker blue shaded. So temperatures could be up to around uh, 3, even 4 degrees Celsius below average maybe even cooler within uh, some other areas especially those areas of higher elevation then as we head into thursday you're also expecting that massive cool air to pretty much be lingering around in the caribbean through the weekend and another cool down is forecast for next week i have been keeping my eyes on that one as well and also uh that's a heron dust update so there's been some of that dust moving into parts of the Lesser Antilles and even South America as forecast earlier this week. So the Saharan dust is moving through and we're going to be seeing it a lot more as we head into the next couple of months. But I'll be keeping you guys posted on all that is happening as per usual. However, that is it for right now. And I really hope that you found this update to be quite informative. However, if you have any questions, please do feel free to leave them in the comments. I'll respond to you when I can and remember to always be weatherwise.